John spent one-third of his money on rentals and transportation and two-fifths on food. How much money was left for his savings? At ito ay galing sa isa sa ating mga followers na pinipim niya ito sa ating FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Leonalyn. At ang video ito ay uploadin natin sa ating YouTube channel na Solving Math with Leonalyn. Let's solve this in two ways. Doon muna tayo sa addition of fraction ang meron dito. I-add natin itong one-third dito sa two-fifth. Ito yung mga nagamit niya sa rental transportations at itong two-fifth sa food. So, i-add muna natin yan. Addition of fractions, kailangan pariho yung denominator. So, hanapan natin siya ng least common denominator. Para sa detalye, kung nalilito kayo kung paano hanapin yung least common denominator, pwede niyong i-search least common denominator, idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin na-upload regarding sa paghanap ng least common denominator. Itong mga ganito, pwede natin gamitan ito ng butterfly method. 3 times 5, and this is 15, ilagay na natin yan sa denominator natin dito. 1 times 5, and this is 5, i-add natin sa 3 times 2, and this is 6. So, we have 11 over 15. Now, ang gagawin natin dito sa 11 over 15, i-minus natin yan sa kabuan, which is yung 1. So, 1 minus 11 over 15, ito yung kabuan. Okay. Paano tayo mag-deduct? Dapat pariho din yung denominator. So, itong 1 na ito, magiging 15 yung denominator. Dapat pariho yung denominator. Now, para maging equal siya sa 1, dapat yung numerator din ay 15. So, 15 divided by 15 and that is equal to 1. So, yung 1 natin, gawin natin 15. 15, yung numerator, denominator, 15 para pareho sila ng denominator. So, pwede na tayong makaproceed sa subtraction. Kopyahin yung 15 na denominator. 15 minus 11 and that is 4. Ito na yung sagot, 4 over 15. So, ngayon, isa pang paraan doon tayo sa kanto style way of solving natin or sabi natin ito yung box-box. Mag-drawing muna ako ng box. Yung box naman ay gawin nating uh, 15 yung hati. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, dito tayo sa one-third. Itong kabuan yung pera, i-divide natin into three. So, one, two, three, four, five. Ito yung one-third. One, two, three, four, five. So, ngayon, ito yung one-third natin. Ito yung one-third. So, this is one-third. Ito ba? Lahat. One-third yan siya. One-third yan siya. So, Ito yung one-third natin. Ito namang two-fifth. So, hatiin natin itong kabuan to five. I-divide natin ng five. So, therefore, ganito yung hati niya. So, one, one, two, three. So, tag-tatlo ang hati nito. Okay. So, ito yung one-fifth. One-fifth, one-fifth, one-fifth. 1 fifth. So, yung 2 fifth dito, ito yung 2 fifth. Okay. Now, yung tanong, how much money was left for his savings? Meron pa tayong bakante dito na 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 ang bakante. 4 over. Itong hating ito, ganito ka laki na hati, meron yung 50. So, this is 4 over 15. Kung medyo naguluhan kayo dito sa solution number 2 natin, pwede naman yung solution number 1 na napakasimple lang, na i-add lang, tapos i-subtract sa kabuuan. Thank you for watching and all I hope meron kayo natutunan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.